Hey guys, welcome to another computer graphics tutorial. Today we'll be looking at DDL line drawing algorithm example. So let's get started. So this is the example. Plot a line using DDL line drawing algorithm for the endpoints 5,6 and 13,10. So we are given these two endpoints and we have to draw a line using DDL line drawing algorithm. All right. So what is the first step? The step one is you calculate the slope. Now what is the formula for slope? Slope is delta y divided by delta x. That is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Now what is y2 and y1? We have got y2 as 10 and y1 as 6 and x2 is 13 and x1 is 5. Okay. So we have 10 minus 6 divided by 13 minus 5 is equal to 4 divided by 8, which is 0 0.5, which is less than 1. Okay. Now step 2 is you first plot the left end point as the first end point that is x0 comma y0, which is the left end point which is 5 comma 6. All right. Then step 3 is if the slope is less than 1, then you have to calculate the next point. Now, is slope less than 1? Yes, it is. 0 0.5 is less than 1. So, you calculate the next point that to plot that is xk plus 1 and yk plus 1. So, xk plus 1 is going to be xk, that is the previous point, plus 1. You are going to add 1 to that. And yk plus 1 is going to be yk, that is the previous point, plus the slope, that is m. Okay. So, you add slope to that point and this is how we get the next point to plot. Now step 4 is you calculate the slope for xk plus 1 comma yk plus 1 and x end and y end. That is xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 that you have calculated over here and 13 comma 10 that is the last end point over here. Okay. And then you repeat the step 3 and 4 till you reach the end point x end and y end that is 13 comma 10. So these are the steps that we are going to follow and we are going to plot the line. Alright. So let's start with it. So first point that was given to us. Let's write it down. Okay. Yeah. So first Let's say we have got k is 0 in starting state. Okay. And we have got 5 comma, uh, sorry. Let's, yeah. Okay. So we have got over here, the first point is x coordinate is 5 over here. Correct. And y coordinate is 6. Correct. Okay. And we have calculated the slope. What was the slope? Slope was 0 0.5. Correct for the first position. So when slope is less than 1, xk plus 1 is going to be xk plus 1. You add 1 to it. Okay. So 5, you add 1 to it, it becomes 6 and yk plus 1, that is the next y coordinate is going to become yk plus m. Now slope was 0 0.5, correct? So this 6 is going to become 6 plus 0 0.5, 6.5. Okay. So this is how we calculate the next coordinates. Now we have to find the slope for the next coordinate and the endpoints. Okay. So what are the next coordinates? It is 6 comma 6.5 and the end coordinates are 13 comma 10. You have to find the slope between them. How you do it? Slope formula is same. Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So it is 10 minus 6.5 divided by 13 minus 6. So it is going to become 3.5 divided by 7. It is again 0 0.5. Correct? Because 3.5 multiplied by 2, you get 7. So this is 0 0.5. So you write the slope again over here, 0 0.5. And since the slope is again less than 1, you increment x coordinate by 1. So it becomes 7 and you add slope to your y coordinate. So 6.5, you add slope, which is 0 0.5 over here and it becomes 7. Correct. Now this is k equal to 2. Now k equal to 3. Again, you calculate slope for this and how you calculate slope for this? You have got y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. You do the same thing. So it is 10 minus 7 divided by 13 minus 7. Correct. Because we have got x and y coordinate as 7, 7 over here. Correct. So it becomes 3 divided by 6. So again, it is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. So you increment x coordinate by 1 with this formula xk plus 1. So it becomes 8 and you increment y with m. So you add the slope to it. So yk was 7 over here. You add the slope which is 0 0.5. It is going to become 7.5. Correct. So if you continue this process, you are going to get always the slope, not always, but in this example, you are going to get the slope 0 0.5 only for all the conditions. So this is going to increment by one and this is going to get incremented by 0 0.5, which is the slope. So this eight is going to become nine. Then this 7.5 is going to become eight. Then again, slope over here, 
you can try it yourself i have calculated it already so this 9 is going to become 10 and this is going to be incremented by the slope this is, which is 0 0.5 so it becomes 8.5 then you have got 0 0.5 as again the slope and this 10 is going to become 11 and this 8.5 is going to become 9 then again slope is 0 0.5 if you calculate it this is going to become 12 this 9 is going to become 9.5 and then we have got 8 one the slope is again 0 0.5 this becomes 13 and this becomes 10 which is the last end point over here correct so you have reached your end points now what you have to do is you have to round it off okay so we have got this as 5 comma 6 it is already the starting point and this 13 comma 10 is already the other end point 13 comma 10 now 6 comma 6.5 since this is a pixel position there is no 0.5 pixel right so you have to round it off to the next biggest number so it is going to be 6 comma 7 then we have got 7 comma 7 because both of them are integers then we have got 8 comma 8 why because this is 7.5 closest number is to it 8 okay then we have got 9 comma 8 then we have got 10 comma 9 because 8.5 is closer to 9 so we have got 10 comma 9 correct and then we have got 11 comma 9 and finally we have got 12 comma 10 okay so this is how we round it off our x and y coordinates okay now we are going to plot this point so 5 comma 6 6 comma 7 7 comma 7 8 comma 8 9 comma 8 10 comma 9 11 comma 9 12 comma 10 and 13 comma 10 we are going to plot all these points all right so let's go to the next slide all right so let's start with the first coordinate what was the first coordinate we have seen the first coordinate was 5 comma 6 correct 5 comma 6 and then we have got 6 comma 7 all right so 5 comma 6 so this is 5 and this is 6 so let's mark this over here correct or yeah then 6 comma 7 so 6 comma 7 correct what is the next one then we have got 7 comma 7 and 8 comma 8 okay so we have got 7 comma 7 and next one is 8 comma 8 okay so we have got 8 comma 8 okay what is the next one we have got 9 comma 8 and 10 comma 9 9 comma 8 and 10 comma 9 so 10 comma 9 okay then we have got 11 comma 9 and 12 comma 10 we have got 11 comma 9 and 12 comma 10 so 12 comma 10 okay and finally we have got 13 comma 10 13 comma 10 so this is how we plot a line between the starting endpoint that was given to us and the last endpoint that was given to us correct so this was our 13 comma 10 and this was our 5 comma 6 correct so this is how we draw a line using ddl line drawing algorithm and we have plotted all the points i hope you got this concept if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you very much